at the beginning of the year, there was a lot of changes that happened that had a significant impact on all things planning. As you know, we're big planners here at the firm, but in terms of estate and tax planning in particular, you know, the SECURE Act was enacted. And I think, you know, I wanted to ask you, just because I think it's important that folks don't lose sight of what happened back in January, what were some of the biggest changes to estate planning as a result of the SECURE Act? Yeah, so I, I fully agree with you. It was signed into effect mid-December and, and was effective as of January 1st. And then COVID quickly came. And I, I think the um, SECURE Act has been lost a little bit, the CARES Act and all the other things that have sprung up since then. But um, there, there are huge, potentially huge estate planning implications. And one big piece is the SECURE Act um, touched on IRAs, retirement plans, and shortened the, the time span um, to 10 years, the period within which certain, in general, certain beneficiaries would have to withdraw their IRA, their retirement plan balance after the death of an account holder. And prior law let most beneficiaries, and on the state planning side, a lot of properly structured trusts could withdraw the account balance in installments over that designated beneficiary's lifespan. Um, and after January 1st, that is, is not the case. We still have a few exceptions surrounding spouses, minor children, disabled and chronically ill individuals can still get that span, that, that stretch when they inherit an IRA or other retirement account. But most individuals can't use their life expectancy anymore to determine that distribution. And so they have to take it out either in installments over the 10 year span, or they can do lump sum year two, year five, right? Year 10 just has to be taken out within 10 years. And so on the estate planning side, two implications. One, trust that might have been named as beneficiaries. The reason why you name the trust as the beneficiary of the retirement account for your children, for other individuals, other family members, it may not work anymore because of the changes that, that came about under the Secure Act. And so you want to talk, if you have a trust who's named as a beneficiary, you do want to talk to your estate planning attorney and make sure the, the purpose behind it still works. And that goes to, you also want to review your beneficiary designations and make sure they still make sense. The second part is that um, acceleration of the income tax that's gonna to have to be paid. And so in the past, again, beneficiaries could spread out over their lifetime and they'd be paying the tax over their lifetime with this squashing kind of to 10 years, you're accelerating the time frame within which beneficiaries are gonna to have to pay that tax. And so look at beneficiary designations. If you name a trust, talk to your advisors about does that make sense? Does it even work anymore? The other um, pieces we pointed out tied in with this change have been potential other considerations or how to use the retirement account or the IRA. Some, if, if you're naming charities as a beneficiary, potentially name now the charity as a beneficiary of the IRA or the retirement account and name whoever else you're naming as recipients of other assets. Um, another option is, is Roth IRAs, those you know, doing a Roth conversion. Um, that's been talked about before, but it can make more sense now when we have this reduced time period for beneficiaries to take out their proceeds. Yeah, that's that's the last part's interesting. Well, all of it's interesting, but I think that last part in particular because there's been so much discussion about the timing of these uh, strategies that maybe should be considered or how fast or, or when they should be done. 